Hi, my name is Ursula Steven, celebrity hairstylist, and you're watching The Virtual Classroom. I started doing hair in my mom's basement. And when it was time for me to go to high school, I didn't, really did not know what I wanted to do because I was so bad at everything besides things that were creative or you know things that had to do with my hands. So my mom found out from her, her hairstylist about a high school that you know taught you how to do hair as well. So I was like, boom, bingo. Applied and it was on from there. And when I was getting ready to graduate high school, I had my own chair, had a big clientele, and all I thought about was doing hair. And then it was time for college, and I was like, uh-oh, now I gotta go to college? So I, I just was like, going to college, but not really interested in it. And then I got an opportunity to go on tour with Candy from Escape. That's when she did her solo project. And I was like, peace, Brooklyn College. I would not be back. And from there, my name just you know, started buzzing in the industry, and I was just a celebrity hairstylist before I knew it. First I was with a bunch of models just doing like a lot of um, fashion shoes and photo shoes with one of my makeup artist friends. And then came Candy from Escape. And then came Remy Ma. And then came Keisha Cole. After Keisha, it was a whole bunch of like new artists and you know, one-offs here and there. And then Rihanna came and it was it, like a whirlwind after that. I was looking for an agent for like the last two years and couldn't find an agent because in the, it's funny in this business is like you can't get an agent if you don't have any jobs and you can't get a job if you don't have any, any agents. You know, it's one of those situations. So one of my friends, actually two of my makeup artist friends was with my agency and recommended me to the agent. And it took her a while and then one day she called me and was like, oh, you know, can I handle a couple of jobs for you? I was like, sure. Because it was a, the point where I was getting really busy, but I couldn't keep up with my invoicing and my jobs and sleeping and packing. And so I was like, you know what? Yes, please help me with this job. And after she did that, she just started, you know, handling a lot of my stuff. And I had to actually fill in for another hairstylist that was Rihanna's stylist at my agency. And I did her for like a two day video shoot. And on the first day she was like, I like you. And I was like, I like you too. And then one day she was just like, I want you to give me my new look for my, for my next album. And I was like, sure. The earning potential for someone that does what I do is very grand. You can make a hell of a lot of money doing what I do. And I actually made a hell of a lot of money when I worked in the salon. So even from just being, just being in the salon, you could still make a lot of money, but being a celebrity stylist, you could make at least $250,000 a year. Definitely, you could make that, and you could actually make more. At the level that I am at, I'm at now, I don't really talk about money with any client or anyone else that is supposed to pay me. My agent usually does that. I'm gonna give you one of my busiest days ever. I had to do a morning show, and usually when you do morning shows, you start at least between 4 and 5 a.m. because the artist has to get ready for the morning show at least like 6, 7. So I did that. I actually had to leave that job. I did that until about 9 a.m. Then I went to another job at 2 p.m., got another, art, another actress ready for some gig she was doing or whatever the case may be, then left her, came home, packed my clothes, got on a flight to Europe. Landed in Europe, I would say about 10 a.m. Europe time. Then I had to get ready at around 12 to get Rihanna re ready for like a show or something. Did the show, finished at like 10, I would say, not, not even 10, maybe like 11 p.m. Go into the after party, straight from there. Heading back to the hotel after the after party just to grab my stuff, because now I'm about to get back on a flight to head to New York to do another artist the next day. Five steps to get to where Ursula Steven is. One, figure out what you really want to do. I don't like when people decide that they want to be a hairstylist and they're working at like McDonald's, you know what I mean? 
if that's the case, if, you, if you're gonna sweep a floor, go sweep a floor in a salon so you can at least be in the environment. Two, don't have a closed mind about it. And the reason I say that is because in the beauty world, there are, there, there are no limits. There's so many different areas in the beauty world where you can make money. So I don't want people to go into it thinking like, oh, I wanna be this big celebrity stylist. And there's so much more in the beauty world than being a celebrity hairstylist where you can really make buco dollars. Three, don't pigeonhole yourself. Learn how to do all types of hair from black, white, Hispanic. Four is do photo shoots. Always do photo shoots. And it's really, it's, instead of calling it a photo shoot, is you're, you're doing, you're testing, really. And you're testing to, to, to get your work on print so people can see your work and you have to keep talking about it. You can just show and prove. Five, shop your work around. And not only to agents, you can be your own agent at the, at the same time. You can shop your work around to salons, to other agents, to, you know, record labels. and. Some words of wisdom would be, stay hungry, never get lazy, please stay hungry. Two, have patience. Three, don't have an ego and don't let someone else's big ego change your character at all anyway. Four, be persistent. And five, save your money. <laughs> Definitely save your money. And I say that because you can be hot one minute and not the next, you know what I mean? And with this job, it's really an up and down type of um, situation. So you should really save your money for those rainy days or those slow times, because they do come. My name is Ursula Stevens, celebrity stylist, and you're watching The Virtual Classroom.